Okay, over here on the stove, we're going to start the frosting, which is about four ounces of chocolate, unsweetened Baker's chocolate or other brand that you are going to put in a double boiler, uh, which is a little bit of water that isn't touching the top part. I just use a bowl and I have it on about simmer or two. And then in this um, saucepan, we're going to add a cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, which I can't do while holding this phone. So I'm gonna come back over here. And in this bowl, we're gonna separate, in this mixing bowl, uh, the egg whites of two eggs and the yolks you can set aside put in the refrigerator uh, for another time okay we have the egg whites here that we're going to whip up to a stiff heat again i'm going to go through that but i'm not going to have you watch all that on the stove we have the chocolate three ounces or three to four ounces i think this bar is a four ounce bar that's melting unsweetened and then the cup of sugar quarter cup of water and the eighth of a teaspoon of um, cream of tartar on no, closer to three, between three and four, um, heating up and that's going to make a uh, boil and make a like a sugar uh, candy that's to a softball stage. Okay, we have the sugar water combination that is bubbling. It's not to the stage yet, I just know because it's not time, but I'm going to use cold water to test for the softball stage, but I'm also going to use a candy thermometer I'm going to put in in a second. I also wanted to show you the chocolate is melting here. You really don't need to do much with this. You just have to start it right at the get-go for the frosting here. I hope I'm giving you a good view and not just crazy things. Okay, so I'm going to set you right here, and as this stuff starts to get done, we'll... Uh, put you back on. Okay, I'm using a candy thermometer which has softball marked out on it and I'm also going to drop a little bit into cold water to test for the consistency. When this gets to the right consistency, then I'm going to bring it right over here to the counter where I have whipped up these two egg whites, which doesn't really take very long, but we want them to be firm too, as we did for the cake batter. And then we're going to mix that hot candy mixture in with these raw egg whites, which will semi-cook them or cook them to some extent. Now, if you have some issues with raw eggs, this recipe might not be for you. But we'll continue on again when we get to that point because all this stuff takes a little while to cook. Okay, this has gotten to the stage I need it to be at. I'm going to just stir it up. I don't want to scrape the sides, so i got to be ready. I'm going to pour this in and stir it up at the same time and scrape it in a second. The heat and the stirring up will incorporate and cook, hopefully the egg whites to some extent, and you'll see it thicken up before your very eyes. And actually the heat's going to be rising from that. scrape in some more of this. It's going to harden a little bit. I think I should really use a rubber spatula, but like sometimes you just don't have time for all that. Just get it in there. And that'll be Okay, to this also you're going to be adding some vanilla. because it's going to make like sort of a marshmallow cream and a teaspoon of vanilla is going to go in and then you let it cool completely and while that's cooling